Hi, my name's John. Welcome to part two in tonight's Sunday Night Nightcaps. Thanks very much, Emmy, for introducing part one. In part two of tonight's nightcap, I do a little bit of maintenance work on my stationary steam engines. It was two weeks ago, I had them at Corbridge Steam Rally running on live steam. I'll probably show a little bit of footage of that. I've still got all the Corbridge Steam Rally video to edit. Yesterday I went to a classic bike show or a, a modified bike show or a custom bike show even which was very local to me. The weather was really good and there were some nice interesting motorcycles there. Motorcycles aren't my thing but I do a little bit of work for one or two motorcycle lads and I'm sure plenty of lads on here and like customised motorbikes I'll show a little bit of that. There was also a lad there using an open forge forging some little, little steel trinkets. It was interesting to see a young lad sort of carrying on the tradition of that sort of thing because you don't see it very often now. Anyway, that's enough talk. Let's get on, get stuck into tonight's nightcaps. These two steam engines were both run on live steam a week ago in our local steam rally and I haven't got round to, well not so much cleaning them but sorting them out after they've been run on steam. The problem is once I run on steam when you finish using it you get a little bit of water that condenses inside the cylinder. Now these are going to stand for another fortnight before they run again and the oil will rust in the cast iron cylinder. So what we need to do is run it on compressed day get the water out, get some oil in the inside of it to prevent it from rust snow basically. I'll bring the camera in, I'm going to do this one first. I've got a short bit of air line here, it connects onto there, that's the valve that controls the steam. I'm going to put some steam oil into this pipe so when it's run it gets forced into the engine or pushed into the engine which will lubricate the internal parts. The crank cases on this is sealed so the crankshaft runs in, a, in oil, a pressurised oil system on the crankshaft. All we're concerned about is the cylinder in the piston valve cylinder as they're casting in. These are little cylinder drain valves, we we'll open them <coughs> that lets any condensation out of the, the cylinder. There's one at the top of the piston and one at the bottom of the piston. If we open this, it should, it should run. The oil will go on the tape into the engine, so we know it's getting lubricated. This engine gets exactly the same treatment. This thing here has a displacement lubricator and that puts steam oil into the cylinder when it's actually run. I've got a little valve on top there so you can put oil into there as well. But I'm going to do the same thing with the airline, get some steam oil into the cylinder. Quite a messy job but I do like a little bit of a little bit of mess so it's not the end of the world. Oil running down the pipe into the engine. 
power and not valve. All the external parts are lubricated manually on this one. That is 50 of the crankiest crank shop. Quite nice noises, aren't they? Ready to run the compressor down. This one hasn't been in steam for some time, but I might as well run it just to see him. Put the oil down the pipe. Put there as well. This has also got a provision there for putting oil in it. You put some oil in there, open the valve, and it will drip into the cylinder. Obviously, not when it's running. It also has two cylinder GM valves there and there, top and bottom with the piston. The bottom end is all right. it's not had any steam in this for probably a year now. Turn the compressor on, it'll work a lot better. <coughs> this is probably my favourite engine because it's the one that I've built. Completely from scratch, it does work really nicely. This would power a small boat, no problem at all. Instant reverse, that's one of the beauties with steam engine.
wait, I need to check. <laughs> Very good. Once again, it's your time to see you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, like Emmy says, please do so. It is important. It makes a big difference. Anyway, thanks for watching.